uh, what it includes. So it comes with the landing page that you can also convert into your website. Something like that. Then it comes with the opt-in form that we have connected to the pipeline called the dental agency pipeline lead in stage. And then we have other stages to nurture the lead throughout the process if they don't pay action on the next step. So uh, let me give you um, an idea about how the workflows work. So we have two folders in here inside the workflows area. One is the dental workflows and then we have the nurture workflows that are essentially the long-term campaigns to uh, get the attention of the lead back for your offer. So the dental workflows and the main workflow inside the dental workflows is the lead new lead SMS workflow that is essentially the first kind of the first interaction happening with the lead. So whenever a lead comes from any source that you have for your leads, it adds them the tag for an incoming lead. And keep sending them SMS reminders until they take action and book a call with the dentist. And then it, after that's over, it adds them into another workflow that nurtures them daily, sending SMS reminders to uh, just book a call with the dentist. I'm going to show you that as well. Um, is uh, when they didn't take action essentially on the new lead SMS workflow, they get added to this workflow afterwards just to keep sending them SMS reminders to book a call with the dentist. So all of these campaigns are easily customizable. They're built the way that you can just simply uh, do custom values from settings, custom, just change around all the custom values according to your client and or if you're running your own dental business, you can have your own custom values built in and you would be good to go. So here are all the different custom values that you would essentially need to fill in. Other than that, another main workflow that we have is, is the nurture to book workflow. So that is for the kind of leads that land in your pipeline, but uh, they come to a form, another, another source. That means the form that is here, they come from here, and they get um, the list of SMS that we have in here until nine days till they take action. You can check all those out. These are just ready done for you to launch your own business. So all of those you get inside this workflow. And uh, you can check them out. We have others like a six month long nurture sequence and then a nurture sequence for the people who haven't responded and it lasts till the, I believe the next uh, six months for them to receive one SMS per month from you. And then we have a power dialer campaign. That is when you drag the lead over in the pipeline from medium to the power dialer stage, that is when it's triggered. If someone responds to any of the text messages from any nurture sequence, they land in the text response stage. So the power dialer campaign looks something like this. 
it adds them to their sequence of manacles until you talk to the client or lead. So that is that. Then we have a qualified state and then confirm appointment. So confirm appointment is after you take action on booking the appointment uh, from the either the SMS link to your calendar or the calendar itself. Uh, once they do the appointment, they land here and they get triggered um, SMS an email campaign for sending them the reminders for the appointment. And then we have uh, transferred and then unqualified, unresponsive, and badly. So these stages essentially are for the leads that are, you know, either unqualified based on their answers on the call or on the form of the calendar. The unresponsive is after it. That is also an automated, um, automated step and automated stage because if they're unresponsive, they would automatically be dragged over after a certain amount of time spend on the first stage of this pipeline. They just drag, the system drags them over to the unresponsive so that we know that this lead is not being very responsive. Bad lead is a stage when you drag the card over to the bad lead. It just, you know, abandoned that lead from your pipeline. So that is that. I hope that gives you a good overview of how uh, the snapshot overall works. If you have any questions, I would be happy to help. Uh, we have appointment reminders for close, and then after appointment uh, being booked, we confirm the appointment by, you know, sending them something like, if you are, uh, if you're serious and you are going to attend the appointment, just apply with C, and once they apply with C, we actually confirm the appointment. So the DND is someone who doesn't want to receive SMS or emails from you afterwards. So we just put it down to the do, do not disturb mode. So I think overall I have covered all those different workflows uh, that we have in here. Let me know if you would be interested. Uh, yeah, thanks.